Rob's going to hate me before I get through with this one. <laughs> Rob's mother described Rod recently to some, some uh, folks I was standing around with. This is my son, Rob. He's Mr. Baldwin's nemesis. <laughs> now, you can imagine if, if something that big was your nemesis, you'd let him get away with it, right? And uh, I was quick to tell her I didn't view it that way. I have stepped on Rob about 500 times in the last three years, I'm sure. And I'm sure he's had to grit his teeth and bear it. But I think Rob knows I appreciate him, appreciate all he's done for our band. And I've made it a point to tell him. Rob holds a distinction, I'm pretty sure. He has made all-state alternate in the 8th, 11th, and 12th grade years. That's, I mean, that's got to be horrible. I'm sure in those three years, he just knew he didn't even get his name on the list to some extent. He's in a section where they don't pick very many for Austin. And uh, he's very talented. And possibly if he'd been playing another instrument, that wouldn't have been so difficult to do, Rob. I mean that very sincerely. He's been in the District 6 Honor Band in the 8th, 10th, and 12th grade. No, maybe this is 8 and 10 through 12. Is that right? And has that first chair in the District Honor Band in the 10th through the 12th grade years. And he made a superior solo ensemble festival this year. Rob, I believe you're going to be a bumblebee next year. Is that right? Scott Rupert is, or has been, is finishing up his term as drum major with our band, serving as a assistant drum major and then moving up to be the, the leader of the group this year, and has tr provided a tremendous amount of hard work and leadership in that area. More than I've been, uh, not willing, but more than I've taken the time to acknowledge and, and appreciate Scott, and I hope you'll know that I mean that. I wish I'd have said thank you more times in the last three years than I have. Scott's one of those also who's always been willing to do anything for the band. Anything that I've asked him, and a lot of things that I never even thought to ask. And I really appreciate that. He's in the District 6 Honor Band in the ninth grade, and the County Honor Band. And he's been in the Youth Symphony this year, the Clayton County Youth Symphony. And Scott, I believe you're going to be going to Jacksonville State University on a music scholarship. Thank you. That's where Mr. Coleman got out. I don't know. I'm not sure whether they finished or not. They may have been finished with him. Kathy Miller, the senior. Where's Kathy? About to skip you, Kathy. Kathy is in our color guard, and consequently, I don't have any honors and awards for her. I know Kathy was one of our better swimmers on our swim team this year, and uh, has probably had other things that she's been recognized for. Kathy, what are you going to do next year? Georgia Southern. Going to be in the color guard down there, I hope. They got a great one. And their football team wins the world every year. They travel all over the country. Well, you can swim and be in the color guard. Oh, oh, excuse me, we'll go on to the next slide. <laughs> Michael Sanders, <laughs> that flat pole <laughs> Michael Sanders, all state in the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade years. That's quite a record. Jazz Clinic in the 10th, 11th, and 12th grade years. District 6 Honor Band in grades 6 and 8 through 12. First chair in one of the bands in the 12th grade year. County Honor Band this year and two superiors at the festival. And Michael is going to be playing, what did I give you the wrong one? Oh, okay, oh, it's okay, Michael, sorry. And, and Michael will also be a, a bulldog next year and in the band there. Congratulations, Michael. Andrea probably holds the award for the, the longest distance travel to school each day now. We thought we were going to lose her even during her 10th grade year. It started out, didn't it? They were building a house, and then Dad had to have back surgery. The house didn't get finished. We got to keep her here. And then 
Uh, other things intervened, and so she, here she is three years later, or two years later, still with us. Andrea's one of those people that's always been, been willing to help, too, and uh, we appreciate that. She also has been in our District 6 honor band in the ninth and 12th grades. What's your plans for next year? Barry College. Barry College is a great place. We went to band camp there for a couple of years. Beautiful. Congratulations. Slaughter has been in Allstate in the 8th, 9th, and 11th grade years, and there's another one of our people who I thought played far better this year than in the past and didn't make Allstate this year where she had those other three years. Uh, she was an alternate this year to Allstate. She went to Governor's Honors in Music last year. She made the Jazz Clinic the last two years. District 6 Honor Band, 8th through the 12th grade years. She's in the County Honor Band and sitting first chair. She's in the Atlanta Symphony Youth Orchestra this year and last, and two superior ratings at the festival. And Pam, I believe you're going to be attending the University of South Carolina playing in the band over there. All right? Congratulations, Pam.